Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Fernie, with a random hatchet I found in a piece of wood. I like chips. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my opening words will be, uh, a daddy was invited to the 18-year-old's 18, 18 uh, 18th birthday. All right. 18 year old's daughter's birthday. Alright. They turn in 18. He finally came. You want to say anything, Hatchet? What? I'm just confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> I said a, a daddy was, final, uh, was invited to his <laughs> 18 year old daughter's 18th birthday. Alright. 18th birthday. He finally came. So he's a piece of shit? I... <laughs> I don't... It's an incest joke. Okay. <laughs> Look where immediately got in and bombed me. <laughs> Just a bad horny joke, no big deal. <laughs> Oh, all right, let's start the new game. Yeah, if I, 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 I have a severe headache right now. So uh, okay. It may not be the most coherent. That's fine. Select the English. Select the language you wish to play this game in: English, unknown, unknown, and unknown. Various Asian languages. Yeah. <laughs> I think two of them are, uh, some type of Chinese. Ah. Uh. So it's probably like simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. Right. It's just throw off my character's legs. They apparently have no knees. Oh. <laughs> I just found that funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're in the house. You heard the story. You have her you have to hurry and tell someone or else he might just come get you. Okay. What the scum the scumbag father from Bright's joke? <laughs> Please name a protagonist. Default is Brucey. Oh, wait. Do you want to be Brucey, right? The work is partially based on a true story. Oh. Who's this? Who's this motherfucker? I can't even tell if they're female or male. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't either, but you know what? They're fuckable either way. <laughs> I don't think this is the main character, so if you want to voice them, you can. If not, that's fine. Hey, have you, have you guys heard of the cannibal boy? Yes, I bet you couldn't tell by face I am Russian. Wait, I don't even get to see what I look like. I'm just. Like, you are shadow. a shadow. You are little more than idea. Huh? Oh. Oh, God, everyone's fuckable. <laughs> Shit. Of course, it's the Ubin Legend. Of... Wait, that might be her internal model. I don't think the shadow figure and them look the same. Well, yeah, but, like, they don't look the same, but I think this is your internal monologue. I would expect there to be quotes around it if it was someone else speaking. Uh, Jade James. Don't you, too, remember why we're in Jade's room with this heavily textbook on counseling psychology? 
Sponsoling? No, it's... No, it's definitely characters. Uh, huh? They literally don't. Oh god! Uh. <laughs> oh god, the race! They are slightly less fuckable now. <laughs> Why was it again? Because we need to study. We have finals tomorrow, remember? You know how strict the professor can be. Do you want to fail the course? Aiden, I was only studying abroad for a year. Since when did Bright become such a downer? Did he get dumped or something? I think oh, wait, that should excuse be me? Excuse me? <laughs> Either this person's transphobic or you haven't come out to them. Yeah. Uh, how should I know? Oh, come on, Bright. Tell us what's wrong. Promise we'll make fun of you. We'll make fun of you together. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that I will mock you seasons. <laughs> So, anyway, have you heard of the Cannibal Boy or not? <laughs> Don't look at me with that tone of voice. <laughs> I have. So what? You know, the recent... The recent multiple homicides in the area. You could just say the recent homicides. <laughs> homicides is plural. You don't need to add an extra thing to indicate that it's plural. <laughs> You know the recent multiple homicides in the area? According to a friend of a friend, all the victims saw a certain boy. Was he fuckable? That's it. <laughs> then a few days later, they were found dead in their rooms, their bodies and limbs gone, with only the heads left behind with a horrifying grimace. <sighs> Even creepier, they all had human bite marks on their necks. Dude, stop looking at me. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Their heads were ripped off by the candle boy. Wait, that's that's the wrong voice. Their heads were ripped off by the cannibal boy with his teeth. Okay. Uh, it, is a boy's bite really that strong? Hey, Bright, what's wrong with you? You never questioned the logic of an urban legend, otherwise it's no fun. Why? Why did he look pissed off? <laughs> I think they're somehow creeped out by this story. <laughs> but the shadow makes it look pissed off. I mean, it's kind of bluish. So it's like all the blood's running from their face. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's leaving their face. It's leaving their face and going somewhere else. <laughs> Hatch it. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard about it. So? Uh, readjust my seat. Uh, well, do you know what his... Uh, do you know about his past? What caused him to become a bloodthirsty man-eater? Beats me. What, are you gonna do a case conceptualization or draw this his genogram or something? The fuck's a genogram? Fuck if I know. Why not? We get to hear an interesting urban legend and get the refresher on canceling philosophy. It's like James did. You said philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> Albert no regret word. Albert is better than you. Albert no would say. What James finished the story. Oh. Part one. The cannibal boy. All I know is there's three parts. This okay. Time. Cannibal boy was originally just an ordinary kid. Lived happily with his dad, mom, and big sister. Bookworm says, a quick Google search. A genogram is a pictorial display of a person's family relationships and medical history. Oh, well, that kind of makes sense because oh, okay. genes. Yeah, genogram. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. 
Yeah, thanks, Bookmark. <laughs> but one day his... Oh, wait, that's the wrong voice. But one day his mom was a cheating husky and his dad left the family. Even the dad to become an alcoholic and everything changed. Whenever the dad was drunk, he... <laughs> oh, come uh, on! Oh. <laughs> Whenever the dad was drunk, he did stuff. Very, very bad stuff. Like 18 plus stuff. Stuff that would belong only in my video games. The big sister. Big sister resisted desperately at first, until the dad said, If you pull, play with me, I'll play with your little brother. Oh, come on, that's <laughs> even worse. This needs trigger warnings all over. Yes, it does. Trigger warnings to everyone from this point on. Sorry, you've probably already been triggered. Fuck you. <laughs> Themes of sexual violence impede. Jesus Christ. No wonder you put this in the 18 plus chat. I just fear because of gore. I didn't even think about this. We might want to warn Jiri to not join. Ugh. Alright, I'll do that while you read that. You're his sister, right? <laughs> I regret giving the father this voice, but also, I'm not going to change it. You're his big sister. You decide what you want. So did sister just stop resisting and let the dad keep abusing her? He wanted to be a martyr at such a young age, huh? How very admirable. That's not the, the- I'm sorry, Albert has fucked up morals. That's not the, 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 the- This is not the moral it should be taking for the story. <laughs> well, that's what kids are like. What are you talking about? Kids don't know who's responsible for the things that happen. That's why some end up believing their mother left because they were a bad kid. Okay. The big sister was exactly that type. So even though the dad's abuse got worse and worse, and all her little bro did was cry, she shouldered it all. This is some very faux psychology. <laughs> the, these are supposed psycho like psychology students. This is this is not very good psychological work. No. No wonder why they're gonna fail the exam. <laughs> yeah, I hope they do. <laughs> How can a kid deal with that much abuse? Why wouldn't she want to run away? You don't understand. When parents don't act like parents, kids, especially ones with younger siblings, will grow up and take on the role of parents. Oh yeah, maybe they're freshmen. And I guess it's not that bad, but it's still just meh. Alright. It, it it could also I, I will press it, it could also be that it's just the subject matter itself is raising all of my hackles so I'm getting a lot of false positives on like whether something's yikesy or not because it started out with fucking essay oh yeah which I mean here's here's my hot take essay as a theme is a reasonable thing to have within a horror medium oh shit Oh, you fool. Wait, I can, I can go back to the yeah, log. Okay. There we go. Um, it's right here, where our mouse is. It's a, it's a reasonable thing to have in a horror medium, <laughs> but you need to preface it. Like, you need to make it clear that that shit's happening, because unlike bodily gore, there's... But, like, anything within horror has the potential to be triggering, but essay is one of those things that's particularly triggering. No missed dialogue for us, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just good. I wish we had it for another horror visual novel game we had. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, like, it's just... Uh. Yeah. 
like it's 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 a theme that's understandable it's a very human theme it it, it is like one of the core aspects of real world horror and understanding individual horrors but i don't think it should just show up out of fucking nowhere <laughs> This shit needs some warnings before the medium starts. And I'm sorry if that, you know, makes people anticipate that it'll be there or it somehow ruins the story for some people. But I think I think horror authors need to be more considerate of the fact that there are people that will just straight up break down in a panic attack if this randomly shows up in a media they're reading. Ugh. Tangent over. Yeah. Okay, who is this? The, the the old western cowboy. Besides, no, the way the dad. One. It's the one above it. Oh. Big si Younger siblings would grow up and take the role of parents. The big sister became a mother for a brother and her dad. That, oh, that, oh, God, that's, oh. Yeah, that's what you missed, the second one, you know, one before oh. this. Bro. What? Uh. Besides, the way the dad abused that big sister, it's hard to say who the parent was. I guess that's fair. Yeah, like you've seen it. <laughs> and that's far into sea, so I didn't even say it out uh, loud. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. I mean, at the very least, Bright, like, like your player character is kind of calling on some of the foe. Like, overly simplistic psychological analysis. Mm -hmm. After every assault, the dad would lie on top of the sister and cried his eyes out. Wait, what? Wait, he, yeah. he would regret it, but still keep doing it. Yeah. That's a thing that, that's a, that's a noticeable thing about, uh, abuse is it's pretty much always stemmed from an inability to process trauma. Or I shouldn't say pretty much always source, but it's very frequent. Oh, here's the dad. Uh, is this the dad or the daughter? I don't know. Mama! <laughs> mama, don't leave me. I hate you, Mama. I wish you could have helped, Mama. I hope that's the dad who's speaking, otherwise that just got real bad. Ugh. Those kinds of villains are the worst. I bet there was something up with the dad's mama, the cannibal boy's grandmother, right? If you keep... If you keep speculating like that, the story will never end. That's why forces of pure evil in anime and comics are proper villains. <laughs> <sighs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay, whatever. Albert's Albert. Albert's a dumbass weeb. Okay. <laughs> May add that to the lore about Albert. They don't have to. Cons you don't have to consider their background stories or anything. You can just blame them. Oh, so he's lamenting that media is simpler than reality. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, or he's lamenting that reality isn't as simplistic as media. Uh, okay. Okay, bud. I think you picked the wrong career path. <laughs> like Jid Sith. Wait, like Jid Sith. If the dad was a proper villain, the big sister would have no problem blaming him. But sadly, he wasn't. What is a proper... Uh... Ah, yes. The definition of a proper villain. A guy who does bad things just because he is bad and thinks he is bad. That's it. That doesn't exist. God damn it. The only thing uh... that we don't know is how old the children were. And I'm kind of yeah. terrified to find out what. I... Oh. Based upon the context, I would guess that the sister is like, um, maybe mid-teens, and the kid's really young. Really, really young. 
and in addition to putting up with her dad's abuse, she had to comfort a little brother who wasn't good for her. Who wasn't good for anything other than saying I'm sorry. Why are you putting down the child? Wow. Bro. Bro, you're... Okay. I don't like these characters. Don't oh, this worry. is the daughter. No, I think that's the son. Oh, the son. Oh, no, it is the daughter. Yeah, I was about don't to say... Go ahead, you're better at doing female voices than me. Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. Bye. The sister swallow. God, why are you making that face? <laughs> Fine. The sister swallowed back tears for the whole family. Tears boiled in her little body. How could she, how could she be fine? I don't like the second sentence. She's... Tears boiled in her little body. <laughs> I don't like that. How dare she not just thrust all of the emotional burden upon her young child brother? A real man would have shot the father. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Yeah. Make matters worse. Even though the sister protected her little brother from physical abuse, he couldn't he couldn't escape the mental abuse. Oh. Yeah, trying, trying to adultify a young kid. Yeah, I'm thinking she's like preteenish from this. Which, yeah, yeah, it's uh, unfortunately for him, the little brother looked a little. <laughs> Fortunately for him, the little brother looked a lot like his mom. That's right, the mom who left with the. We get what you mean, dude. <laughs> Just move on. You look like his mom. <laughs> He's such a piece of shit. What is ever... This is not the. This is not the tone you should be taking. If this is like assumed to be a thing that has actually happened, like this is a, like within the narrative, this is like a story that actually supposedly happened. This is not. The, this is not the proper way to handle a story like this. Yeah. What the oh fuck? my god! <laughs> Why is everyone in the room except for the player character such a fucking twat? <laughs> oh, this is the father. <laughs> Definitely. You wanna get bullied for being a sissy? <laughs> in all of this, I think the character I'm proudest in my voice acting performance is the father. Oh god, I read what it says. Oh god. The dad prepared a lot of meat every uh and forced the brother to swallow it. Oh uh, that that's oh god <laughs> wording please wording dude please word this better brother swallow dad he wanted the brother to grow big and strong, not look so much like his mom. It sounds so wrong. Oh, it, oh god, especially with all the context, you really need to word that better, bro. <laughs> uh, even, oh god, stop making that face. <laughs> even when the brother became scared of the sight of meat and threw up whenever he ate it, the dad was relentless. Shoving. <laughs> <laughs> Shoving big chunks of me in his mouth every day. Oh. The more the dad abused him, the more he cowered. And the more he cowered, the more the dad abused him. And, like a curse. The dad's fears came true. Little brother really did get bullied for being a sissy, and his teachers turned a blind eye, and Lola's life became a living hell. And that's when he started having hallucinations. Okay. He saw apparitions that 
no one else could see, and heard the voices no one else could hear. Her? Here. Uh, you know what that kind of sounds like? That sounds like tacti tactile hallucinations. Because they can both Tac be audi aud uh, aud audio or visual. I thought tactile means, like, the feeling of having been touched. No, it can both be, like... There's a sub part of it, which is which is just visual and audio hallucinations that you can like that you that you hear and see, but you don't t feel touch yet it, until it progresses to tactile hallucinations. I don't know what it's called, but it is a form of it. It's usually caused from trauma. I I but, looked it up because I have tactile hallucinations, so. Tactile hallucinations involve an abnormal or false sensation of touch or perception of movement on the skin or inside the body. What, what do I... I'm probably thinking of another type of hallucination group. Maybe. I forgot, that, I forgot that's from medical. I'm reading that from medical news today. Uh, but I know from what I'm talking about, it can progress into tactile hallucinations, which is probably what's going to happen. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> okay, let's let's watch these fucking college freshmen try to analyze this this shit. Finally, he came to the conclusion that evil spirits were to blame for everything. Okay. Uh If they were really human, they wouldn't be so mean to me. Dad, my teachers, my classmates, they must all be possessed. Oh, God. Oh, he came, uh, he came, he became a Christian. That's not what that means. <laughs> uh, I'm making fun of it because when I Catholics know. do their shit, they say, oh, they're possessed by the devil or whatever. Honestly, I've never heard a Catholic say that. It's always Protestants. Oh, I hear a bunch of Catholics say that, but then again, there's a ton yeah. of Catholic churts. Yeah. Wait, I said turts instead of churches. Churts. <laughs> churts. I mean, you are in that part of the country that has a higher density of Catholics. Yeah, and I hate it. The most, un the most unfortunate thing to believe, that people can't be absolutely horrible. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, couldn't he have asked for help? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? My brain. <laughs> the mixture of this putting stress on my brain and hearing your inability to say the word ask just broke me off. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. It made me laugh, and it hurts to do so. I hate you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Anyway, your line. Uh, why could they? Why? Why could they have? Who? who the, mm, the useless teachers. <laughs> the story's so spooky. I have stroke. If you tell any of your teachers, I'll kill myself. And your sister. You don't want to see your dad and big sister die, do you? I know you're a good boy. Uh, uh. I don't like that last sentence. Uh. That's, that has so many implications. Uh. <laughs> Gods. Make it end. As you can tell, the dad's quite the kid. Don't, don't you describe it like differently. That. Don't what say is that? Quite the character. Oh yeah, that's the way you describe a sexual abuser of family. I, uh, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, as you can see, he was quite the character. Yeah. Adolf Schnitzelman, you can see he's quite the character.
<laughs> Author self congratulating themselves here. Lol. Yeah. I yeah. don't. I don't know how much. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, I. I uh. So far, all of the horror in this has just come from shock value for the sake of the shock value. I hope that the author actually expounds upon this and makes yeah. some kind of, like, has, like, a more of a reason to include all of this fucked shit than to simply say, hey, look, fucked shit. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling something happened to the daughter. Well, no shit. We already heard about something happening to the daughter. No, I mean, like, that... I know, I it. know. Yeah. Anyway. Jesus. He, he's such a drama queen. <laughs> who are you... Ref who is the... Wait, I think the father. That... <laughs> or the... I'm he's hoping. Either... I, I hope he's... I hope he's... Ref... No, in this case, I hope he's referring to this fucking four-eyes bitch. Because yeah, he's fair. handling this awfully. I haven't even got to the dramatic part yet. Okay, no, he was talking about the dad. God damn it. <laughs> Don't blow him. Don't... Come on. <laughs> Has this please, author please. ever heard of a sexual in innuendo? <laughs> I'm thinking they're not American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking this is like somewhat poorly translated. Yeah. Which I mean... I mean, for a translation, it's I've definitely heard way worse, but uh, like I feel SCP like the translators game. were, yeah, <laughs> like I I feel like the translators were just having a grand old time with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even got to the dramatic part yet. Don't blow your load too early, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not stop myself from laughing. I'm laughing myself. In the great words of, uh, Socrates. No, not so. Fuck you. <laughs> In the great words of a My Hero Academia character whose name I forget now. If, if the world doesn't have energy and humor to balance the sorrow, then there is no f hope for tomorrow. I wonder if that's or something all like that. No, it's not All Might. It's, uh, you're caught up to date, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what if it's Miss Joke? It's not Joke. Um, uh. it's, uh, Sir Night Eye. That's it. Sir Night Eye. From the fourth season. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah. One day the little brother came home, every footed as usual. Nope. Oh, this, oh, this is gonna get worse. Yeah. And open the door. It, this sort of stuff, in reality, never gets better. It always gets worse without proper... proper oh god, I even read the sentence. Uh, from inside the house came the familiar smell of alcohol, mixed with blood. Broken bottle, a blooded knife, dad's face. Dad. Stabbed to a pole. Oh! The sister with her wrists slashed open. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I knew it. I called it. Uh, I was thinking the dad just killed her. Uh. Little brother didn't have to read. Little brother didn't have to read the Omaha. The Omaha. Ah. Ah. Uh. Read the auto homicide note on your desk to realize what had happened. Why are you laughing? What the fuck why is you... wrong with Albert? Why why are you laughing? Albert's fucked up mentally. <laughs> well, I mean to be fair, that's kind of on track with Albert. Have, <laughs> have you heard my at least? <laughs> So it was too much for big sister after all. Or maybe I should say I'm impressed that she lasted so long. I'm funny guy, yes. Uh, Fulcrum says better be nervous laughter. Yeah, I hope it's nervous laughter. When he picked up the bloody suicide. 
bloody dead de dead sister note. The, the bloody God. death note. Death note. When he picked up the bloody death note, saw the names written in it. <laughs> he started writing down all the names of his bullies and his teachers. <laughs> and that's the story of how Light Yagami 2 was born. <laughs> When he picked up the bloody note on the table, though, what he saw was... It's... Oh, God. Oh, God. What, what the, the fuck? I don't okay, know. so this... I doubt that this is the sister saying that to the child, but that's how the child is going to interpret it. Yeah. And if it is that the sister's saying that to the child, well, she's objectively wrong, and I feel bad for her. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'll just go. On we ahead. we don't need. Let's just continue. <laughs> Why did he flash red? <laughs> and in that instant, something snapped inside the little brother. My sister. Would never. My sister would never write that. She'd never write anything to hurt me. Must have been. That's right. An evil spirit. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, brother's brain rewrote what happened and what he expected himself. I mean, at the very least, that kind. Of, at the very least, that makes sense. This does seem to have, like, this part feels like it's actually written by someone who has a bit of an understanding about tr how trauma tends to work, but... Mm -hmm. uh, protect yourself. The voices he heard. The illusions he saw. <clears throat> deserved, deserved to protect the little world he shared with his sister. The evil spirit and dad wanted to possess my sister. What the... Okay. But she didn't want to hurt me and wanted to free Dad, so she killed him and herself. But they aren't the only ones possessed by evil spirits in this world. My teachers are. My classmates are. So many more people. If I don't do anything to free all the people who are possessed, won't my dad and sister have died in vain? There's a reason for all the suffering I had to endure. So it's my turn. My turn to exercise all the evil spirits. Dude, stop making that face! <laughs> but I can't just leave my dad and sister behind like this. Oh god, is he gonna eat his... I, it's, I, don't! It's called the Cannibal Kid! Oh god! <laughs> How strong is this kid to lift his, lift a, a parent up. and a sister? <laughs> I'll, eat, I'll take them with me. Good thing Dad trained me to put lots and lots of meat in my head. Oh god. Uh, it'll be a huge hassle for the police when they find the blood, but can't figure out who the victims are. Ah. Uh, I've got to leave them the head. Least. Why? Why does this kid look like a Zuku? I don't know. This is evil like Zuku. It, this is... This is... This is a fucking bad end, Izuku. Yeah, if All Might still said fuck you. <laughs> nah, this is this is like if if All Might never came to the picture, and it was nothing but domestic abuse that happened. Actually, there's a lot of people who theorized if um, All Might never came to the picture or kept denying Izuku that he would jump off the school building, and all for one uh... save him. Uh, eh. Yeah, it's it's a theory, but it's a literal alternate universe. 
And honestly, it doesn't... It doesn't sound much like Izuku as a character to yeah. do that. It's really dark and morbid. But I, yeah, I, do, but... I do like reading into it because it's really interesting. It's dark, yeah. but interesting. <laughs> I mean, to me, it just sounds like the sort of thing where it's, it's, it's dark for the sake of being dark without actually having... Yeah. Any real substance to it. But anyway... So the cannibal boy packed up his dad and sister and set out on a journey to exercise evil spirits. That's the cannibal boy's past. That's why only heads of his victims are ever found. Wasn't it implied earlier that the torsos are at the at this crime scene as well? Maybe. I remember like I remember it specifically saying no arms, no legs. Like that that implies that there's a torso to be making that observation about. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's the last remaining shred of his conscience. <coughs> Sorry. The last okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just James. Why is your version of the story so different from what I heard? Oh it dear is... god, is it just... Oh, okay, I think it was nervous laughter, and I think James is being an extra piece of shit. That's what I'm hoping right now. Uh, how does your version go? Oh wait, no, how does your version go? Well, when the cannibal boy was a little kid, his dad always locked him up on the balcony, and he would knock on the window every night, begging his dad to let him in. Once you've heard this story, you have to tell everyone who doesn't know it or know it yet, or you'll come knocking on your window at night and beg you to let him in. As soon as you open the window, he'll bite your head off and eat your body. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very short story. Not explaining anything. You know what? I kind of needed that after that bullshit. Yeah, I think, like, the story we just heard was most likely based off of true events. Because it says based off a true story. I'm so dubious about that statement at this point. Really? Like, there's, like, you, you know what else was based off of a true story? The what? movie, The Exorcism of Annabelle. Oh. That's technically based off a true story. It just feeds into the whole demon possession narrative rather than a fucking teenager with that, that was literally diagnosed with schizophrenia being abused by her parents and church officials until she died. Damn. There's actual horror in that story. But it's not from the angle of there being a demon in her. It's the angle from her parents not understanding her mental illness and treating her like garbage. Yeah, that's the only reason why I, I'm waiting. For, I want to play Fears of Fathom again because I forgot about it. Because they actually pull actual stories and recreate it in the game. Yeah, and that's actually and really cool. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I'm just really, I'm really dubious about the whole based on a true story thing. You mean, it's bleh. You don't think this is fully based off a true story? I mean, it's not fully based off. I mean, that's the thing, like, yeah. when, when something says it's based off, or roughly based off a true story, it means that there's going to be a shit ton of information added or changed, mm -hmm. and even more so, it could be taking a version of the quote-unquote true story from an unreliable source or be pulled from otherwise uncredible means. So, for instance, if someone says, based on a true story, while writing a story about someone who was supposedly killed by the bunny man over there in your great state of Virginia, mm -hmm. it could be potentially based upon an actual story of a murder, but whether or not it is the bunny man is not only incredibly unlikely, but it has to be shoehorned into the narrative later, and then that's the version that can end up spreading to people's consciousness. Yeah. 
it's meh. I take a lot of skepticism that sort of thing. And honestly, I feel like it's a really common, cheap way to add, like, spooky weight to your piece of media, mm -hmm. rather than just trying to make a genuinely uh, horror-themed piece of media. Yes. And, like, you can obviously draw inspiration from her events. Like, there's not a there's not an author in history that doesn't draw inspiration from the real world, but it's like the addition of based on a true story is used to try to associate the reader or the watcher with the story and invest them in a story that's very divorced from reality. Yeah. Which is in a manner that they would be invested if it was a true story. Yeah. Which is another reason I'm not sure if you catch this up on on the snatch, but fears to fathom in their credits, yeah. they'll put all uh, their resources where they got their what got the story from. Okay, that's that's a more reasonable way to go about it. Yeah, I would say. It's like another example is the Conjuring movies. Oh where, yeah. Like it, it's based upon uh, cases done by the Warrens, you know, a couple of people who are supposed. Uh, um, supposed exorcists that go around exercise all these demons and the versions that they tell are always the most exaggerated unbelievable versions that have been spread since the original events the original events easily being chalked up to a lot of other things yeah Another one I'm pretty sure you probably haven't seen, but the Amityville House, I think it's what it's called. Amityville Horror. Yeah. yeah. That movie. I haven't seen that movie, but I know of it, and I know of the quote-unquote haunting that happened there, and it's like... Uh... Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a whole t side tangent. Yeah. Hold on a second, Jade. For now that I heard the story of the cannibal boy, I have to tell somebody who hasn't, or he'll come and eat me. Is that right? Yeah, is something wrong? James, you just wasted time telling me this story at the risk of failing the course. Don't tell me. <laughs> yep. You got me. How can I worry about failing some stupid curse when I might get eaten tonight? What the? Okay, so, in other words, he, all of that he just made up on his own randomly. Are you serious? Instead of actually telling the supposed story about the cannibal. So the essay probably didn't even happen. No. It's, oh god, that's just... I, this is, either this gets, either this ends up being drawn into the story later, like, this actually turns out to be somewhat accurate, and this could be a way of commenting on the nature of, like, how urban legends and urban rumors change actual events. Or I want to have a very long conversation with the author of this visual novel. <laughs> because th if that doesn't happen, if something like that doesn't happen, this entire sequence was pointless. Mm -hmm. And it was shoehorned in for the sole reason of spooky, spooky essay, look at the spooky shit that's happening now. There's no substance to this horror, it's just I'm shoehorning in potentially triggering topics. For no justifiable reason other than I want to make a horror story and I'm not creative enough to make it actually resonate properly. Ugh. Hit my character, why you little? <laughs> why you little? Okay, I don't care in the slightest to the cannibal boy might be coming for tonight. I guess that hey. makes... That, that makes him a bit... What, uh, that makes me dislike him a bit less because this entire time he knew that this was just bullshit. 
Yeah. The real problem is that you fabricated too much of that story, James. Seriously, how could you possibly know what the dad did to the cannibal boy and his sister at all? Uh, sure people should have. Sure people shouldn't question the logic of an urban legend, but you just made that stuff up. It's different. <laughs> Come Thank on! You. No! No! <laughs> Can we throw this- I'm very glad I gave him an old cowboy voice, because now I really want him dead. What the fuck? It's more fun to add essay to my story, says the author of this visual novel. It's more fun, I- dare you to disagree? Did you enjoy the story about sexual assault? Huh? Did you like it, kid? Oh god, this is awful. Yes, Move on. it is. I, I, I dare you to disagree. What? Are you guilting me? Okay, at least there's pushback. I Don't think you're confused, my dear. Book says, uh, I nominate James to open the window for the cannibal boy tonight. Yes, please. James, go... Go give the cannibal boy a good hug. He needs it. Please. <laughs> I beg you. Will you honestly... <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> I Are you honestly... Him. Are you honestly seeking truth in an urban legend? They're practically made to be sexed up. Okay. I can agree with that on the surface. Because there's a lot of urban legends I like porn of. The difference is, what this fucker did isn't add, like, a, a kinky 18-plus thing to the mix to, like, put a, a fun spin on, on your jerk-off section. What this fucker did was just fabricate a sexual assault story for no fucking reason and calling that fun. Okay. My question is... How long until this goes from me hating this character to me hating the author? That's the question. Like, how long does this go from being, uh, what's a good example? <laughs> prawn. Thanks. <laughs> For a lot of urban legends you like prawn of. <laughs> yeah, I figured, I figured. Prom. <laughs> For a lot of urban legends, you like prom of. Yeah. Um... Real talk, the slit mouth woman. I've seen so much stuff about her. Oh boy. But point being, I, I'm I'm hoping that this has a point, or at the very least, I'm hoping that this fucker gets offed. Actually, there is an urban legend at one of my schools that I went to that did get. Just having it sending light this way. It was a little girl who uh, fell down the stairs and cracked her neck and died. They mm -hmm. added a lot of sexual abuse that that made them jump off and crack their neck and die. For no reason at all. Like, it was never clear that that happened. There was no signs of that happening on the box. Just, just dumb kids adding shit like that because they're fucking weird teenagers that don't have and a... a uh, God. What's worse is that we're four years old. Um. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. want to talk to the people who were raising your 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 classmates. Yes, because that is so fucked up. Like, I get it that kids commonly have this, like, interest in fucked up dark stuff. Mm -hmm. But adding SA randomly to a fucking uh, to a fucking urban legend? Yeah. It's just... It shouldn't be happening. Like, this is just kind of a good example of, like, some of those really fucked up things that exist within our culture that, like, it's, like, like, sentiments within our culture that there are people and hell, kids who deadass think it's a good thing to add SA to a story for kicks. Yeah. Uh, let's let's move on. And actually, the thing about the urban legend before we move on is that 
the little girl actually, they changed it to be harmful to people, but the actual Orb of Legend goes how the little girl actually tries to stop you from going down the stairs at a certain time. Because if you do, you'll crack your neck and die. So they turned... They turned a wholesome story mm -hmm. about a girl who was an unfortunate victim trying to help people into that shit. It's also been told that the urban legend would also, the little girl would also visit the people, because the school also connected to a hospital. They yeah. would visit the hospital, people who are going to die and talk to them before they died. <sighs> yeah, it was really wholesome. Hat, uh, hats, off, hats off to that little girl. Mm -hmm. Fuck everyone who disrespected her <laughs> yeah. by adding that into the urban legend. If she is a real ghost girl out there doing this shit, God bless. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to the story. The, <laughs> yeah. the, the only good person in all of this is that little girl. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> he has nothing to say. <laughs> good. Good. Look at this guy for the freak he is, and then consider <laughs> homicide. This is the way that we should react to this. Oh come on. Uh. Okay. Like this is okay. No, that's that's reasonable. It's the es the essence of an urban legend is in the blending of facts and lies. Okay, that's true, but you don't. You chose to add the fucking. <laughs> I want to strangle him. I want to kill this man. I started out by calling him fuckable, but now he's fucking dead. <laughs> uh, Just do what Garrison says in South Park. Fuck him to death. This... <laughs> this is... You decided what lies to add to your story. This is like... uh, What's a good way to put this? This is like someone justifying shooting someone by saying well there's a good chance they were gonna get shot anyway mm. like no you decided to pull the trigger you fuckface don't go blaming existence itself for your shit actions fuck you this game needs so many trigger warnings uh, I really hope this fucker dies yeah this had better be setting up for him being the guy who dies first. That or they're gonna have us try and save him. Because <sighs> that happens too in games like this. Well, you know what? I hope they give you the option to just not. You know, like like you've got like he's in he's in the Mount Doom and like like you you've got him hanging off and like you, you can reach out your hand to grab Frodo before he falls in the lava, and you just fucking moonwalk out of there. <laughs> just the, just the let him fall to the lava. Michael Jackson's music starts to play. Yeah. <laughs> God. <it's... laughs> the cannibal boy's past may not have been that tragic, or it could have been even more tragic. He may not actually exist, or he might really come and eat brain tonight. It doesn't sound right. Okay. Okay. Thanks for elaborating. But you purposefully added sexual assault to your story. That doesn't- this- this isn't a justification for your fucked up behavior, dickface. <laughs> Please, may this dumbass die. Oh, come on. That's what an urban legend is all about. What's the fun in knowing all the facts? What's the fun in not adding essay? Am I already... Wait, this is the wrong voice. What's the fun in not adding essay voice? <laughs> Time and place. Not it, fam. <laughs> Jump off a cliff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he still doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> I have no words for your stupidity. Okay, fine. As an urban legend, it's bound to get some lies mixed in with the truth. Nothing is certain. Don't accept this. This is terrible. Don't... I'm losing respect for you, Albert. 
But there's one thing about your version that's definitely certain. Okay. And what's that? I don't know if the dead and evil sister were really possessed by evil spirits, but I'm pretty sure that it's your fault came from the sister herself. Okay. Thanks for thanks for telling us. Thanks for sharing your story. <sighs> oh. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? People who are too scared to stand up to bully shift the blame onto onto people who are nicer than themselves. Wait, are you blaming the sister? You <laughs> I'm losing respect for you, Albert. <laughs> so the bully so they bully nice people, cower from the bad people. Which means everybody gets bullied by some bad person. Okay, thanks for horribly describing the cycle of violence. Do you have a point? Out. That's not the work of an evil spirit. They're all just so-called nice people. Okay, that's actually... You know what? Oh, Jesus! Ah. I can appreciate that. Oh yes, keep that faith. Please don't. The opening, the anime opening. Why is anime? <laughs> it's literally an anime opening! It's just... Please die, please die. Please die. Please die. What is going on? Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, well, I got all of those walls. I thought oh, I was going to say, how like, long part, you... part two or something. That's what I was going to say. Are there scenes that happen. spoil literally fucking everything? Uh, I how long have you been here, Chu? This has been really bad so far. I'm gonna save right here. You're out of ten but, anime opening. I'm gonna go on intermission because <laughs> I've got to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> uh, ch uh Chachet, while we're gone, explain everything to Chu. I don't want. To. I believe in you. <laughs> Fuck you. I hope there's a fucking point to that entire story that we just heard. Even if that point is just to watch that fuckface eat shit, I hope there's a point. Because that's just... Excess you can't have an anime opening without excessive spoilers. Uh... It's just... Uh... Uh, this is unpleasant. This has been very unpleasant so far. I mean, the... There's not really that many... Uh, uh, excessive spoilers in Attack on Titans mm -hmm. openings. And, like, that's the thing. I consider, like... As far as I'm concerned, a spoiler is only if it's obviously something that's going to happen, and it's clear what that thing entails. So, like, for instance, the, like, brief view of uh, Aaron's founding Titan in uh, the most recent opening. I don't consider that a spoiler, because anyone who doesn't know what they're looking at isn't going to understand what the fuck that is. Thanks, Bookworm, for what the gift. Bookworm, I, they got me something on Throne. Oh, nice. sweet. I I don't know what it was, though, so I'm gonna check it real quick. Merry New Giving. Merry New Giving. Jesus Christ, Bookworm says Chu. What did Bookworm do? Wait, it's a surprise gift. Oh, for... just a... oh. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I said a surprise gift thing. Okay, so I won't uh, be able to see till it gets to you. Yeah. Uh, One is it gets delivered, and the other, it's a game. Yeah. And I'll be able to see it till the 30th. Wow. That made me jump. <laughs> Good job, Bookworm. Doing the Lord's work. Startling Chew. Yeah. Um, Did you tell Chew what happened in the game earlier? <laughs> I wasn't trying to get no, I'm not, I'm not reiterating all that. There was uh, a lot of talk about SA. And just like randomly the Four Eyes character just decides to start going down a rabbit hole talking about SA and has actively mentioned that he purposefully added quote unquote sexy stuff to it. Because, I mean, <laughs> why, why not? It's an urban legend. Why not add sexy stuff? Even though we're not talking about... Uh... Oh. Is another Jackbox since you accidentally bought three on your own? Yeah, I bought three because I thought Bookworm bought four. <laughs> oh. So now Bookworm got three for free because I sent him the code to it. Huh. <laughs> I see. Uh, we need to do another Jackbox stream soon. Yeah. Anyway, ready to go back one. to the game? But oh, Jerry yeah. says, why? I just got home. God. Yeah, you might want to... Yeah, you might want to warn... Well, I mean, it seems like it's... Okay, it kind of seems like it's easing up on the whole shit, but... Uh, join. All right. Anyway, let's go back to the game. Uh. Oh, doppelgangers. This is why we should. This is why we should hate everyone because they turn out like that. That's the philosophy I. Buy. <laughs> what? Oh God damn it! Never mind. My what? intestines are saying, "Uh, no." <laughs> saying no to what? What's going on? Uh... Shit time. As soon as I get oh, back okay. in the chair, too. God damn it. Oh, that's 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 rough. Oh, hey, Jerry. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay. What's been going on? Oh, the the author of this visual novel added in um or rather a character within the visual novel i hope it actually has a reason to have existed but there was a whole bunch of suddenly very triggering stuff without any warning beforehand oh yeah specifically sa it's it was it was very uncomfortable and and then the character who was telling the story just comes out and like, it was of course it was all bullshit. I just decided to add that in, and now we're hoping that character dies. I think I'm going to have to dip out of this. I was interested in the visual novel until yeah, I heard. That's, of yeah, that's entirely fair. Sorry if I sorry if my the way I described that, uh, triggered it you. Rather be warned than not, and uh, Spood asked what name of the visual novel it is. Fuck, what's I mean, uh, uh, da, 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 da. why am I forgetting its name now? Yeah, uh, like, like, uh, it's it, it was the thing that we voted on in polls. I didn't look in polls. Um, it was, uh, yeah, Is it's it made a, by someone the, called K-Series. Yeah, the K-Series. 
Oh, K zero zero, the cannibal boy is the name of the Ooh, game. You Thank you, book one. Series visual novels. Okay, well they. But yeah, like, yeah, like, like I said, like, I think, I think it's past that part. But yeah, you might want to not stay, just oh. to be safe. Uh, thank you for warning me. I think I'll have to pass because, yeah. well, you know, sexual fear. I I don't want to be triggered by something that seems like it's going to be fun. Yeah, completely understandable. Don't don't stick around if you're uncomfortable here. Well, you don't <clears throat> you don't make or me uncomfortable un with it. That that's I what I novels, but it sounds yeah. like a surprise uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I that came out wrong. Don't don't stick around if there like if there's the chance of this triggering you. That's what I mean. Thank so. you very much, and I I will leave. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, take care. Stay safe. Thank you. Have a good night. Uh, is why we should hate teenagers in addition to their children. What? In addition to children, what the fuck? What? What? Book two? What's going on? Are you okay? If Bethesda.net is working again. While we're at it, hate develops too. Ju, why do you hate everyone? That doesn't seem like a very healthy mindset to have. Oh, yeah, and fair warning to everyone in chat. I'm still dealing with the occasional thing where my browser just randomly cuts me out of the chat and rejoins <laughs> the fuck does healthy me <laughs> well fuck oh yeah so there's a chance that if y'all say something I might not actually see it Mephestus. Lord's Mephestus. That's the sea boy. Don't hate everyone. Okay, then. Well, that's the thing. You just described literally everyone. Hate, hate teenagers, hate kids, hate adults. That, that wraps up literally the entire human population. Just... 98% of Earth's population. Uh, chew. That's not a very good way to think about it. And even then, based upon what you literally have said within this conversation, Yes, it, it includes 100% of the Earth's population. <laughs> Define good. Uh, my head fucking bitch. Life will be very, very sad and depressing 
if you assume that you're going to hate literally everyone. Oh, God. All right, so I just had explosive diarrhea. Oh, gee. Okay, thanks for the... Yeah. Thanks Thanks for the information, Bright. You're welcome. Uh, Jerry hopped in and I gave them the details, so they hopped out. Ah, uh, that's fair. <laughs> she says base. Why do we have an explosive diarrhea? Okay. I guess. I think, or maybe to me saying that they're going to have a very depressed existence. I feel uh, like choose like maybe 70% more deranged when in text chat. Yeah, I, all I know is that Corpse Party doesn't have this type of topic in it. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. This is. Uh, why does my, my shirt smell like French? <laughs> exactly what I was saying. I think she was like 70% more deranged in, in text chat. Yeah, anyway, back to the game. <sighs> yeah, I needed that break, honestly. It's, I, I hate to say this, Bright, but thank you for having sudden bowel issues. I needed this break. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably because I ate fried chicken for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Why do my fingers smell like chocolate? Oh yeah, probably because I ate a Hershey's bar earlier. Why do my fingers uh, smell like ass? Oh wait. Bright. <laughs> bright. <laughs> Go to your room. Uh okay. By the way, have you guys heard of double gingers? Yes, duh. I have heard of double gingers. There's a there's there's a porn game I I play that has double gingers. Wait, would that count as uh regular sex or self cessed? It would not count. It's just regular sex because it's just someone else that looks like you. Ah. <laughs> Sir, <I'm> Insert. Sure. <laughs> directly related to me because of reasons you would know by looking at me here. Insert fried chicken joke that's directly related to me because of reasons you wouldn't know by looking at. Oh, I forgot that that was like a thing that racists do. Huh. Yeah, I I got I it off the bat. Out about that one. I got it off the bat. That's why I laughed at that. It's yeah. It's 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 the same reason why the melon baller joke yesterday, like. <laughs> took me a little bit to re to figure out because like i haven't been exposed to talking about those uh racist jokes in a while yeah so it's like my brain just like slowly tries to weed out the toxicity <laughs> from my brain in chew of course he did bright <laughs> uh, <laughs> i like dark humor i'm sorry my chat room thing refreshed so i didn't get to see that part uh, <sighs> all right. But anyway, anyway. Dot dot dot. Huh? Of course, it's a popular urban legend. I'm just gonna. Okay. How are we defining urban legend? Because, like, doppelgangers are like something from folklore for thousands of years. Yeah. Or at least hundreds of years. Remember, kids, keep expectations in people low. <laughs> you know what? That is a fair. That it, that's actually a good lesson. I, I'd say, I'd say, expect expect pe expect low things. Hope hope. Keep your expectations low. Hope for people to surpass those low expectations. Anyway, of course, it's a popular urban legend. <laughs> We just talked about the cannibal boy, and now it's doppelgangers. What happened to studying? What about our finals? <laughs> Bright's being the most reasonable person in the room for once. Oh wait, my character's a weeb. I see an anime poster through my wall. It's one anime poster on a completely barren wall. I and don't think you classify as a weeb. And there's some manga on the ta table there too. I, I dare say, I, I want to say that the majority of people in Japan would have at least one manga book. <laughs> like, it's really diffused throughout the culture. I think most people have, like, some physical copies of manga over there. 
I actually have a bunch of manga. <laughs> I want, I really want to get the entire Attack on Titan series in manga. Yeah, anyway. I'd love to have that. Yeah. Right, there's something I have to tell you. The earlier discussion enlightened me with a singular tr Oh no. What? Oh god, just jump off a cliff. Then I need to die. Please <laughs> go. Go. Shoot. Exit uh, the room. What kind of truth? You wanna do essay to me? I'm sorry. Oh god, no, right. <laughs> no. You are this person now. Fuck you. <laughs> if you give up If you give up on finals. Then it's winter break for us starting now.